Just had my new springs arrive, got them here. Um, a little bit concerned that I've ordered the wrong size. Um, they're the right length, but they look a bit small on the diameter. So um, we're just gonna give them a quick try. Good news is um, they're not any smaller. Um, don't know why, but they do just look smaller. Um, I think it might just be because the spring's just that much lighter. Um, but anyway, yeah, good news, the springs are the right size, so we can get them onto the shock absorbers and get that all back on the car. But I know I said in a previous video we were gonna be going over to see Matt at Pro Comp. Um, simply, I just haven't got time at the moment. The reason I haven't got time to get over there and, and you do that is because I need to get that front suspension back on the car. If I don't get the front suspension back on, I can't carry on really much further with the bodywork because I need to get the ride height set to a real ride height rather than the currently slammed as low as the car will ever possibly go. Order some 120 pound springs which is the, the common fix that's used on these cars to get it all set up correctly on the front end. We'll make some changes to the damping settings in line with sort of what Matt suggested and um, get the suspension back on the car. That's where we're at. Get these new springs on, um, courtesy of Rally Design. So thank you Rally Design for those. So it's Monday evening. Um, as you've just seen in the last clip, my springs arrived earlier. I'm just gonna get them properly fitted up to the shocks now. Bit short for time tonight. I'm actually cooking the dinner at the same time as recording this and doing the springs. So um, we'll see how this all goes and uh, try and get it done nice and quick. I ain't got no money for living I ain't forgiving of what you've done I ain't got no reason for thinking I'm just doing what I've always done I'm gonna shoot you Until you're resting in the doorway Gonna knock you out I'm gonna shoot you Until you're resting in the doorway Gonna knock you out Boy, Gonna knock you out Okay, second one done. Um, just need to make sure as well when you do this that to get the ride height the same side to side, you've got the same number of threads showing at the bottom. Obviously you can do some fine adjustment after that, but that's your basic starting point. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the adjustable damping actually somewhere in the middle. That's based on the recommendations from Matt at Procom, but he reckons that the full extreme of the settings that they just won't work properly. So we're gonna go in the middle should work properly there and then we can go from there on the rest of the settings so there we have it both the shocks are now built back up there's about 16 clicks of adjustment on the damping so we've gone nine clicks from full hard i reckon that would be about right to get us started we might then take a few more clicks out towards soft but um, we'll see how they go on those settings next job is to get these back in the car uh, i need to just find all the bolts and nuts to do that with but before we do that i'm going to go and have something to eat so that's me done for tonight. I've ordered some spring compressors so I can actually get these into the top mounts but they're, they're in at the bottom mounts and um, good to go. It's uh, Wednesday night and I've got my spring compressors now so I'm going to get the uh, shocks properly mounted. Spring compressor was absolutely no good at all. Actually what I needed to do was what I thought I needed to do the other day and I just didn't do it for some reason and that would jack the car up. Um, so. Not sure how well you'll see is we've got the chack down there, which means that the wheel sits like that. And I'm able to get the top arm up like that, nice and free to move. Which means now I can get the bolts in. So um, yeah, it's gonna be quick and easy now. Okay, so that is one side then mounted up. Front suspension is all back on. Uh, you can see the ride height is sitting at a much more realistic road going ride height now. Um, I still like the look of it. Definitely gonna be building some kind of big front splitter to uh, to go on it though. Um, need to work that out. Wow, that fitment is bad. <laughs> so. Yeah. Passenger side fitment. It's awful. Driver side fitment is about there. I reckon we can get a little bit more cheeky at the top there.
looking at it straight on though I'm definitely just spaced further out on that right hand side which explains obviously the bad fitment on that side so we can definitely bring that panel in some more it needs a bit of a splitter so thinking that what we'll do excuse me pointing at my foot but is have a splitter that comes to here comes across and then tapers quite quite tight back to there so kind of straight across and then a tight angle down to there and then maybe actually build that up into sort of almost a bit of a almost a bit of a scoop um, but we'll see as always thank you for watching um, if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and give us a like on Facebook www.facebook.com forward slash Ducksport Cars Thank you.